Today's daf is daf ches, and we'll pick it up where we left off yesterday with Omar, the Omar of Gidel Omar Ra. Okay, this is um, one, two, three, four, five lines down from the top of the Omar. He says, a Omer, a person declares, Ashkim the Eshne Perik Zeh, Eshne Mesech the Zoo, Neder Godal Nodar Leloke Yisrael. And the Ran explains that this is a Shmua, because again, a, a Neder is an Isra Hefta. Here he's not prohibiting any Hefta, he's only obligating himself in a Misa of waking up early and studying a certain parak of Torah. And it could be that the word parak here doesn't mean a parak of Torah. It could be a parak means a parak of Zman. In other words, he obligates himself with the Shur to learn Torah at a, for a certain period of time. Or he specifies a Mesechta, and he says he's going to learn this Mesechta, and this is a Shvur. This is a Neder Gadol, Nader Lekei Yisrael. And we know that sometimes in the Gemara, the language of Neder is used for a Shvur. And this we've seen in many occasions. The Ran here and Tosus here and uh, we'll see it later on. Now, the big chiddush here of Rav Gido Amarav is that uh, even though a person is obligated to study Torah, and the mitzvah of Vishinantam of Anecha Talmud Torah is a mitzvah which, like any other mitzvah, has already obligated a person because Mushpa v'yomid bar Sinai. So that's the Gemara's objection here. The Gemara says, follow Mushpa v'yomid bar Sinai, even without his Shvua, he would be committed based on the Shvua at Har Sinai, which all of us took to learn the Gisa Boyom of Halayla, Torah study, day and night. So what did he add with his shvua to the shvua that he already took in our Sinai? And we have a principle of ain shvua, halal shvua. Now here, when it says ain shvua, halal shvua, the Ranshita, many Rishonim, is that it means he's not chayv a karman shvua. Normally if a person violates a shvua, then he brings a karman shvua at the beginning of Sefer Vayikra, but here, since he already took the Shur at Har Sinai, and ain't Shur Chal Shur L'chai V'karmon. So why is it that Gido Marav indicates that neither Godal, nor the Lekei Yisrael? Oh, by the way, the Mishnah later on in Daf Tess says, Ki Nidre Rishayim, and it says Bishmua. So you see that the word neither means shvu. Again, this is a a kuvase. A kuvase is never a neder, it's always a shvu. But in any event, the Gemara wants to know why is the shvu chal? We should apply the principle ain't shvu chal shvu is mushba v'yomi mar sinai. And this question appears also at the end of the Gemara in Yuma, which we may recall, with regard to the sugi of Chatsi Shir, that Chatsi Shir, if we hold, is awesome in a Torah, then the Gemara says that it should be Mushpa Yomi Bar Sinai. So therefore, if a person takes a Shush Lo Ochal, let's say he prohibits a certain Kikar, even if he eats less than a Kezayis, he should be included under the Alocha, under the Shua of Chatsi Shir. So this principle of Mushpa Yomi Bar Sinai applies Whenever you have him, it's the Doraisa, and he's the Doraisa. And in this case, we were Mushpa Me'ar Sinai to learn Torah. So the more answer is, Michael Mashbal and Dafil is Ruzay the Alma, 
perhaps maybe Rav Gidol and Rav doesn't mean a technical shmuel with the laws of shmuel and the chiyuv carbon if he violates the shmuel because he's already mushba miyomet. But the purpose of this shmuel, as we saw yesterday, is lizruze nafshe. He's only coming to give himself an extra motivation, an extra push. So Mar says you can't assume that that's the real interpretation of the statement of Rav Gidol Marab because I knew the Rav Gidol Kamaisa. That's Rav Gidol at the top of this Omud. Which the Mar interprets to mean that it's Lizruze Nafshe. So why would Rav Gidol Marab repeat what he's already said? So Mar now offers another interpretation of this statement of Ashkin. The Eshna Perik Zeh. Why is this Chal as a Shvur? According to Rav Gidol Amarav, Kamash Malon came and the boy potter Nafshi bekriyach Mashachus Yarvis. Mishum Hachi Chayle Shvualik. On a Torah level, with regard to the mitzvah of Yigisav or Yom of Alaylo, he could fulfill that mitzvah with a very minimum, the barest minimum amount of Torah study. And even if he reads Kriyachma in the morning and the evening, that's Yom Malayla, the Gisabo Yom Malayla, he has fulfilled his mitzvah. Because when the Torah says Vishinanta Lumanechu Dibarta Bam, it then says Vishabucha Uvkumecha, which means by Erev and Baboka. So all he has to do is read something from the Torah by Erev and something from the Torah by Boka, and he has fulfilled his mitzvah Doraisa. Of Talmud Torah. He doesn't have to get up at a certain hour or in a certain window of time, and he's obligated at that time to learn Torah. And certainly he's not hired to learn a particular Masech in Torah. So, therefore, as far as the Doraisa of Mushpa Biyomid Me'asina is concerned, there's no mitzvah Limit Torah. Biyomu Halila for every single minute of the day of the night. He could be Yotze. With Kriyach Mashal Shachris, the Arab. So, this I believe is a sugya in Mesech the Menachos. The Gemara in Kedushin, on Daf Lamed in the sugya of Talmud Torah, the Gemara derives from the Shinanton, Sheyu Divrei Torah Mechudad of the Ficha. That if a person asks you a question, you should be able to give him immediately without hesitation an answer to that question. So therefore, you have to review your Torah study and learn Torah be omek in depth so that you should be able to answer a question. And that's the Lashon of Vishinanta, the Lashon Chidu. But it doesn't mean that he has to learn a specific Masech at a specific time. And therefore, there's no Mishpah Vyomed. Hence, the Shvu that he took now of Eshna Perikzeh would be Chal. And it's a complete Shvu. Why? Because the Torah does not explicitly command him in that which he is taking upon himself in the Shmua, and therefore the Shmua is Chal, even as far as a carbon is concerned, if he violates the Shmua. So obviously a person has to be very careful when he says to a friend, you know, let's get up tomorrow morning, we'll learn this parak, this part of Torah, that is a neder gadol nodar leloke Yisrael. Now, in the note here, he quotes a ran in Mesechta Shavuos. And also he quotes a tshuva. And I'll just read it to you a few lines. He says, Zeli yomim chipasti matsasi sad lidvarai the Rambam in the fifth parak of Shvuo says, "Hanishba shelo ochal kol shuhu min avelos v'treifos v'yachal pochos min kizayis chayev b'shvuo sheino rot mushba v'yom al chatsi shir me'ar sinai." And what this means is that even though we paskin that chatsi shir is awesome in our Torah, but nevertheless, it's not included. On the Mushba Vyomi Mar Sinai. 
which means that according to the Rambam, there's a separate Easter of Chatsi Shir Torah, but it's not an Easter of Nevela. It's not a specific Easter. And therefore, there's no Mushpa Vyomid. I see that. You see that Mushpa Vyomid has to be on something very specific. That the Shur that we took on our Sina, it, it prohibits exactly this. And if he takes a shvur, which is not exactly that, then the shvur has room to be chal. And now we get to a third statement of Rav Gido Amarav. Ha'omer l'chaveru nashkim v'nishne perik zeh. And here's a case where he didn't take upon himself a shvur. All of l'hashkim, nevertheless, he has to get up early. Because when you have a Kabbalah for Dvar Mitzvah and you express it, you enunciate it verbally, that itself is a Chalos Dibur. And he has to be mocked him. He has to come early, which means that, let's say, his friend will get there at 7.30. He has to get there at 7.29. Shenemar, we derive this from Yechezkel, in the third parak, it says, Vayomre Eli, Hashem says to Yechezkel, Ben Adam kum tsei el adbika v'shom adaber oscha. And when it says v'shom adaber oscha, it implies that Hashem will be there to speak to him in that bika. And then Yechezkel records that the akum v'eitz el adbika, I went out to fulfill the command, the mission that God imposed upon I already found that the Kvot Hashem was there before I, Yechezkel, got there. So we see that Hashem is teaching us that when He is Ma'orer, someone else, if you're Ma'orer, someone else, you have to be mocked in Him and come earlier. So again, there are two Chidushim here in Rav Gil Number one, even if he did not use a language of shvua, but nevertheless, if he was makabal on himself, he's obligated to fulfill that. And number two, he has to get there earlier than his friend. Or of Yosef. Now we get to the laws of Nidri that we started yesterday on the Zion of Ibez. Nido Bechalo. In his dream, he sees that a person puts him into Nidu. And Rabbi Yosef takes this Nidu very, very seriously. Therefore, he needs 10 people to be Matir the Nidu. In other words, what we're afraid of is that this Nidu during a Chalom is even more severe and more of an oser than a regular nidu. We never found that to be matur nidu, we need 10 people, but this nidu that came through a chalom is considered, as the Ran says it, a nidu b'shlichus hamakom. Whoever it was who appeared to him in a dream and was menadahim was actually a, a proxy, an agent representing HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And that puts that Nidri on a much higher level in which will need HaKadosh Baruch Hu Kaviyachal to be matter the Nidri. Because if this person who appeared in his dream was operating as an agent of Hashem, then we need that Hashem would be matter that Nidri. That's how severe this Nidri is. And it's only when we get together 10 people that we have the principle, as Tulsa's quotes it here, that whenever you gather 10 people together, you have the Shekhinah with you. And that's derived from Adas Maraglim. And Hakel Nitzah Vadas Hashem. So we have an Eidah, which is made up of 10 people. And then Hashem is there. But Rabbi Yosef goes on and he says, even 10 people are not sufficient to be matir a nidri 
in a dream. Why the who the Tanu Hilchasa? That those 10 people are those who not only have learned and studied Mishnah, but they even studied Gemara. The word Hilchasa here means Gemara, which again, what's the difference between Gemara and Mishnah? The Mishnah doesn't necessarily give us the ta'amim, the underlying logic and reasoning for the Allah. And here's where the Gemara, the Hilchasa comes to be Megala, the, the Tame HaMishnah that are Stumim. Or, for example, very often you have a contradiction, an apparent steer between two Mishnayis, and a person who learns Gemara will understand how to reconcile this apparent contradiction. Or, for example, in Gemara, he will know the various opinions of the Tanaim who might disagree with a Mishnah. And therefore we'd say, well, this Mishnah reflects the Shita of the following Tana, but other Tanaim disagree. All this is encompassed by the study of Gemara. And the 10 people who are now capable of being Matib the Nidri and Chalom are made up of 10 people who are Hanu Hilchus, so they learn Gemara. Abel Masnu, if they only learn Mishnah, the low Tanu, but they don't learn the Tame Halachos, the Gemara, lo, they will not be Mati the Nidu. Why? Because this Nidu in the Chalom is Minash Hamayim, and the Chatchila, what we need is Asara Talmidi Chachamim Longdim Gemara. Now I add the word Chatchila. Because of the next part of Rabbi Yosef's statement, the Sefer, Ileka de Tanu Hilkasa, in event that he cannot gather together 10 Jews that learn Gemara, and I'm not sure if learning Dafyomi is sufficient, is Hafilu Masnu Tanu. We can rely on 10 people who at least learn Mishnah. Ileka, if he can't find 10 people who study Mishnah, Lazel the Lazel Aparshas Jerochim, the best that he can do in this case is locate himself at a place where masses of people pass by. You know, he goes to, uh, you know, uh, Penn Station in Manhattan. And Yoav Shlomo Lebeas Sora. And should say Shalom Aleichem to 10 people. And they will respond to him, Aleichem Shalom. And when they, the 10 people, respond Aleichem Shalom, not all at once, that will protect him from possible suffering or punishment due to this nidri. So basically, the process of nidri is a process of kapara, of tris bifnei ha'isurim, and when they respond, shalom aleichem, to shalom aleichem, and they say aleichem shalom, the 10 people who say aleichem shalom, are in effect being matter is needed because if the whole purpose of the nidu is to put him in a state where he gets kapara, he now achieves kapara by virtue of the 10 people who said Aleichem Shalom. And that expresses itself in the protection that he will achieve from Yisur. And in the in the Masifti quotes Achronim, the Nidre Zerizim, who claim that even when you get 10 people together, they don't use a Lush and Hat Torah. But Hutar Nedra Al Yidei HaShav HaShom. Which means the following. When a person is in a state of Nidri, then we don't respond Shalom to him. Also, the Shayla Shalom, he's not allowed to ask us for Shalom, and we're not to respond to his Shalom. And if 10 people respond Shalom, that itself constitutes a Hataras Nidu. However, not everyone agrees with that. And some say that uh, apparently 
the Sina Sholem itself is not, is not a no. It's not really a technically a Hataris Nidu. Now, Rabbi Yosef adds a few words. He says, Ademikle lay asara de gamre hilchasa. And it seems from this addition that he adds on that it's not just enough that 10 people who pass by and walk in the streets will say Aleichem Shalom, but he's going to get Aleichem Shalom from a number of people, a large number of people, and then he can assume that amongst this large number of people, he fulfills his minimum requirement and 10 of them are Gamri Hilchus. So even though he wasn't able to gather them together, but on the Parshat's Drachim, he's going to somehow, over the course of time, it doesn't tell you exactly how much time he has to stand there at the, uh, at the Parshat's Drachim, he will eventually have 10 people who are scholars, they learn Gemara, and they will, through their response to him, they will be Matir, Matir the Nid. Tulsus raises one possibility that at Parshas Drachim he'll actually get 10 people at the same time. But Tosis doesn't accept that possibility. He doesn't have to make sure that when he asks for Sholem and he receives Sholem, there are 10 people gathered together. Now, if Tosis would insist that you got to get 10 people at the same time, that's in order to bring down the Shekhinah because this Nidri B'chalom has the status of a Shlichus a, where the Menade was a Shliach of the Shekhinah. So we need 10 people together at the same time to create the Shekhinah. Amalei Ravina Ravashi in Yoda Man Shante. If he remembers and he can identify the face of the person that appeared to him in a dream, Mao literally is enough that he goes to that one person who he can remember from his dream and identify him. He doesn't need 10 people. And that one person who is Menade will be Mata the Nender. Amalei, no. Ravashi says, Lishamute Shavu Shaliach. He was appointed that person as a shliach manishman to put a person into shamta, into nidui. But the mishri lo shavi shaliyah. Do you follow how Kodesh Baruch Hu did not appoint him as a shliach to be mat in the nedah? The nidui. Normally the menada is mat in the nidui, but in this case the menada is only a shliach. And the mishaleach who's minashamayim never appointed him and authorized him to be Mata Benidu, and therefore we need Asara to bring down the Shechina to be Mata Benidu. Amalei, Rav Achla Rav Ashi, Rav Achla now asks Rav Ashi the following question, Shamtei V'shorolei V'chalmei Man, what happens if in the dream itself, not only do they put this whammy on him, and put him into Nidu, but moreover, they were Mata that Nidu. Can we rely on the dream as a Torah Sanidu? Omalei, and Ravashi responds, Kishem Shiefshal of Bar below Temen, and here on the top of Chesel the base, Kachi Efshal of Chalom below Dvar Betel. When you mix up Tvua, inevitably there's going to be some solace that's mixed in. So too, when a person has a dream, the dream has within it Varma Mitiu, that which is true. And that's the Nidri part of his dream. But it also has Dvarma Mitiu, it has solace in it that's worthless. And that's that Taras Hanidu. And therefore, we're going to say that a Taras Hanidu is Dvarma Mitiu. He's going to again be required to gather together 10 people to be matir, to be matir the need. 